Hi, class. Just a quick pen cast about the empirical rule. And uh, the basic idea is that we know 68% of the data lie within one standard deviation of the mean. We know that 95% lie within two standard deviations of the mean. And that 99.7% of the data will lie within three standard deviations of the mean. Now, a good rule for doing all the homework problems uh, goes like this. If we put the mean in the center, and then we move one standard deviation to the right and the left, we know that 68% of the values have to lie in that region. And because everything's supposed to be symmetric here, that means that 34% lie to the right of the mean and 34% to the left. Now if we go out another standard deviation in both directions, right, that's supposed to be 95%. Uh, the difference between 68 and 95 is 27%, and if I divide that by two, I get 13.5% of the data in th those two regions. Uh, finally, same idea if we go out one more step, that's supposed to be 99.7% of the data within three standard deviations. That's a difference of 4.7. If I divide that in half, that's 2.35% left and right. Um, to the outside of that, 100% uh, minus 99.7% is 0.3%. And if we break that in half, that's 0.15% to the right of that last value and 0.15% to the left of that first value. So um, how I would approach this, um, in a moment I'll give you a mean and a standard deviation, but I would always start with that same picture, the mean in the center, mark off three standard deviations in each direction, and then fill them all with the percents that we did up above. 2.35, 13.5, and then reverse that. Now I can label this. Let's say that our standard our mean was 100 and our standard deviation was 12. 100 under the number line in the center and keep adding 12 to get the numbers underneath the number line on the right hand side and then we could subtract 12 uh, 100 minus 12 is 88 88 minus 12 is 76 76 minus 12 is 64 now I can answer really any question uh, involving the empirical rule from this number line so um, a standard one might be something like between 88 and 112. If I look between 88 and 112, I have 34 plus 34. That's 68 percent. That was the 68 percent within one standard deviation of the mean. But if you label the number line like this, you can really handle any interval, like between 76 and 136. Go to 76 on the left, 136 on the right, and then add up all these percentages between there. 13.5, 34, 34, 13.5, and 2.35. If you add those up, you would get 97.35%. Uh, we can even do ones like lower than 88. Start at 88 and work your way to the left. Well, it's going to be these three values. 
So I add 0.15% to 2.35% to 13.5%. And if I add those all up, I get 15 point, uh, actually I, I get 16% even, sorry about that. Okay. So label the number line, fill in the percentages, and then you can handle any problem.